I really hope the largest Five Nights at Freddy's action figure collection isn't right behind my suspiciously placed chair. What? What the? Chica, what are you doing with my Five Nights at Freddy's action figure? Oh my, Andy Matronic, what are you doing to my FNAF action figure? Don't you love him? No! Oh what my god. The rest of them. The rest of the, oh my god. What did you do to my FNAF action figure collection? Your collection? Don't you mean my creation? No! Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Zach featured in multiple videos on Andy Matronic's Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube channel. What are you doing in here? No! My mint condition sun action figure that I bought brand new from the store! I can never put him back in the box! No! <laughs>Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, I am showing off every single Five Nights at Freddy's action figure ever made, as well as giving away special figures at the end of this video, and some massive announcements all during this video with every single Five Nights at Freddy's action figure ever made. So, let's get right into it and start off with the very first FNAF action figure. So, starting off our entire Five Nights at Freddy's action figure collection with the main man himself, we have... Freddy Fazleton Bear, and after Freddy Fazbear, we got Bonnie the Bunny, and after Bonnie the Bunny, we have Chica the Chicken, along with Mr. Cupcake, and after Chica is Foxy the Pirate Fox, and after Foxy, we have Golden Freddy, the very last figure of the main line. So, the build-a-figure of this wave is... Spring trap and oh man, he's incredible. Look at all that detail. And the exclusive of this wave is Glow in the Dark Foxy, who's actually a lot brighter orange than normal Foxy. Glow in the Dark Foxy is actually the rarest Five Nights at Freddy's action figure ever made, selling for over like six hundred dollars, which is crazy. Now let's go check out Wave Two. But pause, super fast, let me tell you guys about my brand new Five Nights at Freddy's plush channel, which is called Puggos Plush. This channel, if you like watching SML, Sly Pie, Gabe's World, and any other Five Nights at Freddy's plush YouTuber or plush YouTubers in general, then this channel is perfect for you. With super funny jokes and amazing videos, I spent so long making this channel that will have weekly uploads. The link to this channel is in the pinned comments. But in case you don't believe me that you guys might like this plushy channel, let me show you some clips. <laughs> What? What is that? <laughs> what is that thing? So if you thought those clips were funny, there's five brand new spanking fresh videos on the channel along with weekly uploads. And it won't even be slowing down on my main channel. This is just extra content for you guys to enjoy. Now let's go check out Wave 2. Starting off with... Nightmare Freddy and his little Freddle. After Nightmare Freddy is... Nightmare Bonnie. After Nightmare Bonnie is... Nightmare Chica with her little Nightmare Cupcake. Look at that matching cupcakes. After Nightmare Chica, we have Nightmare Foxy. And after Nightmare Foxy is uh, Toy Foxy for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure why this figure exists. It's ugly, ugly. So after Toy Foxy, we have Nightmare on the Build-A-Figure. I had to move him over here because he has a really hard time standing up, so he's gonna stay there for now. And the very final figure we have, the exclusive of the wave, is... Jack O'Chica, who's one of the rarest Five Nights at Freddy's action figure. Now, checking out Wave 3, we have... Wave 3 is the sister location wave, starting off with Circus Baby. So, after Circus Baby, we have... The Ballora action figure with her cute little stand so she can stand up. And after Ballora, we have Funtime Freddy, who for some reason is extremely rare, like $300. So if you guys have a Funtime Freddy, make sure to keep him safe. After Funtime Freddy, we have Funtime Foxy to go perfectly along with Funtime Freddy. Look how well they match. After Funtime Foxy, we only got four main figures. The Build-A-Figure of this wave is Ennard. Oh, ho, ho. Look at all of that detail. Wow. Ennard is just absolutely incredible. One of the best figures ever made. And the exclusive of the sister location wave is... Lobit, who's a Walgreens exclusive. What a weird exclusive. There's also a exclusive of Glow in the Dark Circus Baby, just like Glow in the Dark Foxy, but I don't have her because it's literally impossible to tell if she glows or not. Foxy is at least a bright orange, unlike other Foxy, but Glow in the Dark Circus Baby looks the exact same, so I don't own her. Now let's go check out Wave 4, which is... 
Starting off wave four, which is the Pizzeria Simulator wave. So very first up, we have Rockstar Freddy. After Rockstar Freddy is Rockstar Foxy. And yeah, they just completely skipped Rockstar Bonnie and Chica. After Rockstar Foxy, we have Pig Patch, who looks really bright and pink. I like his design. After Pig Patch is Orville the Elephant. After Orville Elephant, we have the exclusive of... No, no, it's not. It's, it's just El Chip. I forgot El Chip even exists. He's such a forgettable character. After El Chip, we have Lefty, who is the actual exclusive figure of the wave. And after Lefty, the Build-A-Figure we have is Scrap Baby. Possibly one of, if not the coolest and best action figure Funko has ever made. I mean, look at this detail. Absolutely incredible is the Build-A-Figure. And sadly, that's the last Build-A-Figure we ever got, which really sucks. So now let's go check out the next wave of FNAF figures, starting off with... The next wave is the Blacklight action figures, and I actually have all of the Blacklight figures still sealed in their boxes, which is incredibly rare. So let's take a look at each Blacklight action figure still in their box. Starting off with, of course, Blacklight Freddy. After Blacklight Freddy, we have... Blacklight Bonnie in a very nice pink color. You can tell I've had these for a while because they have a little dust on them. After Blacklight Bonnie, we have... Blacklight Chica and... Blacklight Mr. Cupcake, which is his official name, says it on the package. And after Blacklight Chica, we have Blacklight Foxy, who just looks so cool. I love the colors on Foxy and Bonnie the most. They're probably my favorite colors. And I actually have a very special Blacklight figure. There was no Build-A-Figure and no Exclusive and no Golden Freddy in this wave, which really sucks. So we did not get a Blacklight Springtrap or we did not get a Blacklight, uh, Blacklight Golden Freddy, which sucks. But I have an even more special one. After that, I have my Scott Coffin signed. Blacklight Chica action figure. Oh my gosh, this is one of the coolest things I have in my collection. You can see how old it is. I've had it so long. Scott Cawthon himself wrote on this box. The man himself signed this figure. And wow, wow, it's absolutely incredible. I'm so happy that I was lucky enough for Scott Cawthon to send me something and sign this box. So those are all of the Blacklight action figures. I think they're super cool and I still have them all in their box. Now let's go check out the next wave of figures, which I don't have in their box. Starting off with... Now the worst line of figures ever made. My least favorite and mine when I look at these, I say, oh goodness. I say, why were these made? Uh, the, the glow in the dark ones. Starting off with, ugh, glow in the dark glam rock Freddy. Just disgusting. After him, we have... Glow in the dark rock star Foxy, who's looking super ugly. I hate these glow in the darks. After glow in the dark rock star Foxy, we have glow in the dark pig patch, looking awful as ever, because he sucks. So after glow in the dark pig patch, we have glow in the dark Orville elephant, who I hated so much I broke his ear. And the very last one in this wave is glow in the dark. Glow in the Dark L Chip. Yeah, the two best figures of the last wave, Scrap Baby and Lefty, didn't even get Glow in the Dark versions. That's why I hate this wave. It sucks and it's lazy and it's bad. Now let's check out the next wave. Maybe those figures aren't as bad. They might be better. Let's check it out. Starting off with... Starting off with Glamrock Freddy, the security breach wave. Uh, yeah, these figures are not better in the slightest. They're just super, super ugly. So, Glamrock Freddy looking super ugly. After Glamrock Freddy, we have Glamrock Chica and Yeesh. Looks like she got hit by the ugly stick. After ugly Glamrock Chica, we have... Ugly Roxanne Wolf, who can't even stand up. The hair on the back of her head is just a giant hunk of plastic, so she has to lean all the way over like this. And after Roxanne, we have Montgomery Gator, who's, uh, he, uh, he's not that bad. He could definitely be better, though. After Monty is Vanessa or Vanny, who also looks so ugly. I mean, she doesn't even look like this in the game. I don't know how they messed up these designs so much. And then the exclusive of this wave is... Photo negative Glamrock Freddy. I would- what? Why? What were they thinking when they made this? It's so ugly. And then there's two other security breach figures who released years later that we will check out now because they are part of security breach. So the next figures we have up are the absolutely incredible 
looking Sun figure. I mean, look at all these details. He's so amazing compared to these ugly figures. Funko really stepped up their game with him. And to go along with Sun, we also have the absolutely fantastic Moon action figure. These are some of the best Five Nights at Freddy's figures ever made, and I understand if you think that they're the best, because, well, they're absolutely phenomenal, but these released years later after this original horrible line. These are so cool. So, after Sun and Moon, the very next wave of figures we have, starting off with... The Curse of Dreadbear Wave, which honestly looks really good, way better than the Glow in the Dark's and Security Breach. So starting off with the main man himself, Dreadbear, looking awesome. After Dreadbear, we have Glitch Trap, incredibly well and really detailed figure. After Glitch Trap is Jack O'Bonny. I mean, took him long enough. Jack O'Chico was made all the way back there, and finally they made Jack O'Bonny. So after Jack O'Bonny, the last normal figure in this wave is. Grim Foxy, super cool looking, and the exclusive of this wave is Captain Pirate Foxy. Uh, I lost his other leg, so this is all you get with him. He is lying down. So I'm going to move him out of the way just because he's lying down and takes up a lot of space. And let's check out the next wave, starting off with... The next wave is the FNAF AR wave, easily the largest action figure wave, starting off with VR Toy Freddy. After VR Toy Freddy, we have... System Error Toy Bonnie, after System Error Toy Bonnie, is High Score Toy Chica. You know, it's really disappointing that Funko made the molds for Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Chica, and instead they gave us the AR versions, and they never made the originals. How disappointing is that? So after High Score Toy Chica, we have Radioactive Foxy, with a real endoskeleton inside him. After Radioactive Foxy, is... Toxic Springtrap. And after Toxic Springtrap, we have Chocolate Freddy Fazbear. After Chocolate Freddy is Chocolate Bonnie. And after Chocolate Bonnie, we have Chocolate Chica, who's the very last normal character of the FNAF AR wave. And then there are so many exclusives. So starting off all the exclusives, we have starting off our very first exclusive is Freddy Frostbear. After Freddy Frostbear, we have the angry version of System Error Toy Freddy. I mean, come on, the Toy Freddy action figures right here, Funko. Just give us normal Toy Freddy. After System Error, angry System Error Toy Freddy, we have Shamrock Freddy, who's uh, covered in poop. After Shamrock Freddy is Easter Bonnie. After Easter Bonnie, we have Firework Freddy. After Firework Freddy is Liberty Chica. After Liberty Chica, we have Arctic Ballora. And the very final figure exclusive we have is Black Heart Bonnie. So that is the entire FNAF AR wave with so many characters going all the way here and all the way here and all the way here. There's so many exclusives because there's so many FNAF AR skins. So the very next wave that we have is... Our next wave is EW! The tie-dye wave, boo. This wave sucks, the worst FNAF wave of figures ever. So starting off, we have ugly tie-dye Freddy. After tie-dye Freddy is tie-dye Bonnie. Wow, looking super awful. After tie-dye Bonnie, we have tie-dye Chica with weird colors. After tie-dye Chica is tie-dye foxy with very strange colors and that's it not even a golden freddy and not even the build a figure they made spring trap cost money very greedy funko very greedy the exclusive spring trap figure wow it's moldy cheese trap look at moldy cheese trap he is looking very moldy uh you guys all know this is the worst wave of figures ever so now let's check out the next action figure wave which is the Balloon Circus Wave, with very strange figures, at least compared to everything else. So first of all, we have Clown Freddy, and then Clown Bonnie. Yeah, look how weird these figures are. Look at their posability. It's very strange. After Clown Bonnie, we have Clown Chica, whose leg broke off, and these action figures, their limbs can't pop back on. So after her leg fell off, it could not go back on. So after Clown Chica is Balloon Freddy, who's super small, cute, and tiny. After Balloon Freddy is the exclusive of the wave, Balloon Foxy. So that's it for the Balloon Circus wave. And now checking out the very next wave is 
The Christmas wave. Yet again, a very strange and weird wave for Funko to make. So first off, we have Santa Claus Freddy. After Santa Freddy is... Elf Bonnie? Like, what? Why do these exist? After Elf Bonnie is... Snowman Chica. And after Snowman Chica, we have... Gingerbread Foxy. And the exclusive of the wave is... Nutcracker Foxy. Who, uh, who works like an actual nutcracker on the back. Yeah, this is, this is easily the weirdest FNAF action figure ever. This wave sucked. And then now, on to the very final wave of Five Nights at Freddy's action figures ever. Let's check them out. Starting, here, we'll put them right here. Starting off with... Ruined Eclipse. One of the best Five Nights at Freddy's action figures ever made in a part of the very final action figure line. Next up is... Ruined Roxanne Wolf, again, a just absolutely phenomenal, incredible action figure, and one of the last action figures, and the very final action figure that we have is Ruined Chica, my personal favorite action figure, just because she's literally 100% game accurate and perfect, and I love her so much, but there's actually two other action figures that I've not shown off, so what are they? First of all, we have the giant, one foot tall... Freddy Fazbear action figure. Wow, absolutely incredible with amazing posability. And after Giant Freddy, we have one foot tall Bonnie the Bunny action figure, who's wow, absolutely incredible. And of course, my custom Five Nights at Freddy's action figure, which is this is my custom Withered Freddy action figure that is 3D printed and painted. He's super cool. I made a whole tutorial video on him, and I just love him so much. I think he's absolutely awesome, and one of the coolest figures I owned, well, because I made him. And now you guys made it to the end of the video, so that means it's giveaway time. So out of all of these Five Nights at Freddy's action figures, which is the ones that I am giving away? And well, because I ordered even more of them, I am giving away the three amazing, incredible looking Eclipse figure, Roxy figure, and Ruin Chica figure. So how do you enter to win any of these three figures completely for free, which look absolutely incredible, by the way? Well, of course, three classic, simple Pugo Stips. What do you have to do? First, you have to like the video. Second, you have to subscribe to my channel. And third, leave a comment saying that you finished all three steps and which figure would you like? Would you like Eclipse? Would you like Roxy? Or would you like Chica? And well, I also wanted to do a updated action figure collection because this is every single Five Nights at Freddy's action figure that Funko will ever make. You guys know they lost the license. Check out my last video, I explained that. They lost the FNAF license. So these final three figures of Eclipse, Ruined Roxy, and Ruined Chica are the very final action figures that Funko will ever make. So right here, you are looking at every single Five Nights at Freddy's Funko action figure that has ever existed and will ever exist. So this is also the very last very last collection video, which sucks because I love making these collection videos. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please, please, please check out my Plus channel. I've put so much work into it. There's going to be weekly videos. The videos are super funny. I think you guys are going to love them. They're just awesome, really funny Plus videos, so please check them out. And I want to know, what is your guys' favorite Five Nights at Freddy's action figure out of all of them? Do you like the new classic figures? Do you like the rarest figure, Glow in the Dark Foxy? Maybe the most detailed figure, like Scrap Baby? Do you like the giant figures of these guys? Oh, I forgot Sun and Moon were even all over here. Yep, Sun and Moon. Just move you right there. There's Moon and Sun. Yep, move Sun right there. Yep, both of those look amazing. So please let me know. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all later. Good.